In this problem, we have to find the arc length of this function from 0 to 8. So the formula that gives the arc length is little s is equal to the definite integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of y squared, and then we have a dx. So in these problems, we typically um, just try to work out what's under the square root, and then we think about whether or not we can integrate uh, this uh, after we do that. Sometimes a trick was required, sometimes it works out uh, quite nicely. So y prime, so we'll bring down the 3 halves, so we'll have 3 halves, 2 thirds, and then we have uh, 3 halves minus 1 because we subtract 1. That's really 3 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1 half. And the derivative of 1 here is 0. So these cancel. So we get y prime equals x to the 1 half. Okay, now we just have to square this. So y prime squared is really x to the 1 half squared. And then you multiply these, right? 2 times 1 half is 1, so you just get x. So this is the step that I skipped. Basically, you just do that, so it's equal to that. All right, so then we just have 1 plus y prime squared. That's just 1 plus x. So let's go ahead and try to integrate this. So putting everything back into our formula, little s is equal to the definite integral from, well, in this problem, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 8. So it'll be 0 to 8. And then we have the square root of 1 plus x dx. So technically, we're supposed to make a u substitution here. So let's go ahead and be pro about it and do it. So we let u equal 1 plus x. That means that du is equal to dx. Pretty simple. However, this is a definite integral, so if we want to be super correct, we should change the limits of integration. So when x is equal to 0, you take the 0 and you plug it into your formula for u. So u is equal to 1 plus 0, which is equal to 1. And then when x is equal to 8, that's our upper limit of integration, u is equal to 1 plus 8, which is 9. So this is equal to, let's be careful, let's see. So instead of 0, it's now a 1. And instead of 8, it's now a 9. And this is the square root of u do you good stuff whenever we have a square root function we should rewrite it as something to a power so we can write this as u to the one half du this way we can use the power rule to perform the integration when we use the power rule we add one so it's one half plus one it's really one half plus two halves which is three halves then we divide by three halves but whenever we divide by fractions, it's easier to multiply by the reciprocal. So let's just put a 2 thirds here, as that's the reciprocal of 3 halves. And we go from 1 to 9. So this is equal to 2 thirds. So 9 to the 3 halves minus, and then we have 1 to the 3 halves. This is equal to 2 thirds. Let's see, 9 to the 3 halves, the way that works is that's the square root of 9 cubed because you can put the 2 right here, the 9 goes here, put the 3 wherever you want. So square root of 9 is 3, 3 cubed is 27. So this is going to be 27 minus 1 because 1 to the 3 halves is 1. So this is 2 thirds times 26. So this is just 52 over 3. 
and 52 over 3 in decimal form is 17.333333. Threes repeat. So I'll leave it as 17.333. That's it.